One of the fastest ways to grow your email list online is to have a lead magnet, something that people get for free when they type in their name and email address. A very popular lead magnet would be an ebook. But some of you are not graphic designers and some of you don't have the money to pay for one. So today I'm going to show you how to bootstrap an ebook using the website Canva. Now, if you would like access to my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos, just click on the link in the description. Without further ado, let's hop in. When you log into Canva, you will see an array of templates to choose from. But what we're looking for is documents and blogging and ebooks. Now, I typically will use the magazine format to make my ebooks because, as you can see, this is the same size as a normal page of paper. But if you'd like a smaller format, you can use the ebook template. So decide which one you want to use and go ahead and click on it to open a new file. Now on the left hand side, you will see different options for covers. So all of these are covers and the ones that are free are marked in the bottom right hand corner. So just remember that if you do not see this icon, then you will have to pay for the use of this layout. So if you are truly bootstrapping your business, you may want to try to find a free template that works for your aesthetic. Now, if you hover over and you see a number revealed in the top right hand corner, these are actually templates that have multiple pages. So you will see that notated when you hover, there is a number behind. If it does not do that, like this one, it's just the cover. So you can actually combine layouts by choosing one for your cover, adding a new page, and then choosing a layout from a different template. So say for instance, if you like this cover, but you like this about page, all you have to do is create a new page, click and add it in. So what I would do if you actually have your ebook already laid out in say a Microsoft Word file is I would go ahead and lay out all the pages. Choose your templates for all the pages. Just click down here to add a new page if you want a blank page. And if you actually want to copy a page, you can just click on this icon. Now on the side, you can change the order by clicking on the arrows if you want to change the order of your pages. And if you decide, you know what, I'm over it, I don't want this page anymore, you can simply trash it. Now another thing is, say for instance you decide, oh, I want to move this text to a different part of the page. But as you can see, they're all individual things. So what you can do is you can, we'll move this out of the way, just for the example, and we'll drag over and we'll highlight all those items. In the top, you will see group. So if you group them, now they move as a group. But if they are ungrouped, when you go to move about, it doesn't move those lines with you. So if you like design elements that are already existing and you want to move them all at the same time, I would recommend grouping them. This is also a way for you to keep your formatting consistent from page to page. So you create all the pages that you want, including your cover, and then all you're going to do is hit download. Now you've got a couple options. If you do not plan on printing this, you can just save it as a standard PDF. If you plan to print, you just hit print, and then pretend depending on how you're printing it you may want to add crop marks and bleed so you can click that click download and the file will save to your desktop so that is your ebook format now if you decide that you would like to use the magazine layout you just switch to magazine and you can see the pages are bigger because this is a eight and a half by eleven page and if you like that cover you can keep that cover. You can say, you know what? I like this layout. And all you have to do is click it in. And you can literally lay out your ebook in a couple minutes. 
Now, if I want to use some pages from this wildlife journal layout, I can add those in. The text will be different because it's a different template. However, I can edit that to match the other pages. Again, you may want to change the name up here so you can customize your design title. Click download. And then you can download the PDF. Now, one thing that you may want to do if you want to get some more advice about how to lay out your ebook, you can simply hop over to Pinterest, look up booklets, and you can get some ideas for your layouts. So this is how I get some ideas sometimes. I look at what other people have done and say, oh, this is an interesting cover, and I will recreate it in Canva. Or I like the way this catalog looks. So if you are stumped on ideas, that's a great way for you to get inspired is just hop on over to Pinterest. Another thing that people run into all the time is imagery. My favorite stock photo site that is absolutely free is Unsplash.com. So if you create your magazine layout and you want to customize this, you can simply head on over to Unsplash. You can pull some of the images from their library and use it in your ebook. So I hope this was useful to you. Um, this is how I create my opt-ins quickly to grow my email list online. If you would like to learn more from me, you can head on over to my VIP vault, get the password and hop on in. Like I said, it is full of video tutorials, cheat sheets, checklists, and even stock photos. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Bootstrap Biz Advice, I would encourage you to do that because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now. I'll see you later.